Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel English Literature. Today we are going to talk about Spencer's Shepherd's Calendar. We have discussed about Spencer in general, his works, his lives and I feel that we must give special attention to two of his works. One is Fairy Queen, the Fairy Queen and the other is the Shepherd's Calendar. We have already talked about Fairy Queen, so now today we will talk about Shepherd's Calendar. Written by Spencer and published in 1579. It was Spencer's first book and first major poem after Chaucer. It deals with variegated themes of love, politics, social issues, religion, customs. They all are brought together under one umbrella. It is a pastoral poem. We have already talked that Spencer introduced the theme of pastoral romance in English literature, particularly poetry, and it is modeled on Virgil's Eclogues. So what is Eclogues? Eclogues is a short pastoral poem written in dialogue highlighting the rural life of the society of shepherds. And the main dominating character is here Colin Cloud. And we found that this character Colin Cloud recurrently appeared in Spencer's other works also. And who is Colin Cloud? He is a shepherd and at the same time he is a lover and poet. We found Colin Cloud later in Spencer's Colin Clouds Come Home Again and in the book 6 of the Fairy Queen. Spencer used the name Colin Cloud for his persona, a symbol of poet author. Now, Hobbinal, there is a character is Hobbinal. And who is Hobbinal? Hobbinal is the friend of Colin Cloud. And Hobbinal is modeled on Gabriel Harvey. The group Adiopagus. Do you remember the group Adiopagus? And Gabriel Harvey was Spencer's friend in the day of Cambridge. They met in the day of the Cambridge University days. There is another character Eliza who represents Queen Elizabeth. And finally there is Colin's beloved Rosalind who does not reciprocate Colin's love. And the name Colin Cloud was inspired by John Skelton's Colin Cloud that was published in 1522. In the Shepherd's calendar, Spencer establishes Colin as the disciple of Titiras, the shepherd in Virgil's Eclogues. We have already talked that Virgil's Eclogue is the direct influence of Spencer's Shepherd's calendar. And Virgil's Eclogue, the character was Titiras and is here. Spencer, the character is Colin Cloud. So, Colin Cloud is the persona of Spencer. At the same time, Titiras is the persona of Virgil. Clear? The book he wrote under the pseudonym Emerito, that means unworthy. So, the book was not written under the name Edward Spencer, it was named under the name Emerito, that means unworthy. Spencer dedicated this book to Sydney. There are 12 pastoral eclogues narrate the conver conversation between highly idealized shepherds. Shepherds are not common shepherds like our shepherds or the shepherds we generally meet, but they are highly idealized shepherds. They take part in philosophical debate, political as well as religious, social, all the types of the then um, scenario. They are just talked about those things and in this way you can find the portrait of contemporary English life through the shepherd's conversation. And as it is formatted in the life of the shepherd, the entire work is infused with the archaic spelling. Yeah, there is some modification to bring back, to bring the, give us that concept that they are shepherds, that is their archaic spelling. That Spencer mostly takes from the style from Chaucer's medieval English, Chaucer's dialect. Otherwise, that um, subject matter of talking is quite uh, high idealized, but that talking style he keep archaic. It was written in Spencerian stanza. So, what is Spencerian stanza? It is a verse form that eight has eight iambic pentameter lines, followed by ninth line of um, six iambic feet. Okay, and that is called 
alexandrine what is called alexandrine that will be iambic fit but the number will be 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and among them one with rest and rest in this way okay there will be total 6 <coughs> And now, 12 o'clock stands for 12 seasons. The Sefer describes his life through the 12 months of the year. And so, 12 o'clock for 12 months, January, February, March. In this way, Spencer just arranged this book. Sidney, in his defense of poesy, published in the same year, Press Spencer's Sefer's calendar. So, the main point is the 12 pastoral eclogues based on Virgil's eclogue. Here the character is Colin Cloud who is modeled on Titiras of Virgil and again this is written in iambic pentameter lines followed by untraced sliver followed by untraced, traced, untraced in this way and there is Alexandrine where there is total 6 feet there will be. Okay. But other lines? Oh God, why this type of thing? Okay, it actually it has got uh, the edge. That's why there is so disturbance. So this six iambic feet is called Alexandrine. And otherwise eight iambic pentameter lines as there. And the ninth line is uh, in Alexandrine. It is called Spencerian stanza. So it is written in Spencerian stanza. It has 12 pastoral eclogues. And they are modeled on the Arctic Spanish model on Chaucer. Spencer dedicated this to Sydney. Sydney praised it in his defense of poesy. This is the point. 12 o'clock stands for 12 season and 12 months, January, February, March, April. In this way, he just arranged it. The character Eliza represents Elizabeth. Rosalind is the reciprocate who, who does not reciprocate Colin's love. And Hobbinal is based on Gabriel Harvey, Spencer's friend during his Cambridge days. That is the main theme. And the uh, Colin Cloud, the major character of this, again come in. Colin Clouds come home again and the sixth book of Fairy Queen. Keep it in mind that sixth book of Fairy Queen. Okay, there is not so other things that is published in 1579. It was Spencer's first work. So it was a short video, but it was a punchy and I feel there is too much information and enough information for Super's calendar. Thank you.